In theoretical physics, quantum field theory QFT is a theoretical framework that combines classical field theory, special relativity, and quantum mechanics and is used to construct physical models of subatomic particles in particle physics and quasiparticles in condensed matter physics. QFT treats particles as excited states also called quanta of their underlying fields, which are, in a sense, more fundamental than the basic particles. Interactions between particles are described by interaction terms in the Lagrangian involving their corresponding fields. Each interaction can be visually represented by Feynman diagrams, which are formal computational tools, in the process of relativistic perturbation theory. History As a successful theoretical framework today, quantum field theory emerged from the work of generations of theoretical physicists spanning much of the 20th century. Its development began in the 1920s with the description of interactions between light and electrons, culminating in the first quantum field theory—quantum electrodynamics. A major theoretical obstacle soon followed with the appearance and persistence of various infinities in perturbative calculations, a problem only resolved in the 1950s with the invention of the renormalization procedure. A second major barrier came with QFT's apparent inability to describe the weak and strong interactions, to the point where some theorists called for the abandonment of the field-theoretic approach. The development of gauge theory and the completion of the standard model in the 1970s led to a renaissance of quantum field theory. Topic: Theoretical background. Quantum field theory is the result of the combination of classical field theory, quantum mechanics, and special relativity. A brief overview of these theoretical precursors is in order. The earliest successful classical field theory is one that emerged from Newton's law of universal gravitation, despite the complete absence of the concept of fields from his 1687 treatise Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica. The force of gravity is described by Newton as an action at a distance. Its effects on faraway objects are instantaneous, no matter the distance. In an exchange of letters with Richard Bentley, however, Newton stated that it is inconceivable that inanimate brute matter should, without the mediation of something else which is not material, operate upon and affect other matter without mutual contact." It was not until the 18th century that mathematical physicists discovered a convenient description of gravity based on fields—a numerical quantity a vector mathematics and physics assigned to every point in space indicating the action of gravity on any particle at that point. However, this was considered merely a mathematical trick. Fields began to take on an existence of their own with the development of electromagnetism in the 19th century. Michael Faraday coined the English term field in 1845. He introduced fields as properties of space, even when it is devoid of matter, having physical effects. He argued against action at a distance and proposed that interactions between objects occur via space filling lines of force. This description of fields remains to this day. The theory of classical electromagnetism was completed in 1862 with Maxwell's equations, which described the relationship between the electric field, the magnetic field, electric current, and electric charge. Maxwell's equations implied the existence of electromagnetic waves, a phenomenon whereby electric and magnetic fields propagate from one spatial point to another at a finite speed, which turns out to be the speed of light. Action at a distance was thus conclusively refuted. Despite the enormous success of classical electromagnetism, it was unable to account for the discrete lines in atomic spectra, nor for the distribution of blackbody radiation in different wavelengths. Max Planck's study of blackbody radiation marked the beginning of quantum mechanics. He treated atoms, which absorb and emit electromagnetic radiation, as tiny oscillators with the crucial property that their energies can only take on a series of discrete, rather than continuous, values. These are known as quantum harmonic oscillators. This process of restricting energies to discrete values is called quantization. Building on this idea, Albert Einstein proposed in 1905 an explanation for the photoelectric effect, that light is composed of individual packets of energy called photons the quanta of light. 
This implied that the electromagnetic radiation, while being waves in the classical electromagnetic field, also exists in the form of particles. In 1913, Niels Bohr introduced the Bohr model of atomic structure, wherein electrons within atoms can only take on a series of discrete, rather than continuous, energies. This is another example of quantization. The Bohr model successfully explained the discrete nature of atomic spectral lines. In 1924, Louis de Broglie proposed the hypothesis of wave-particle duality, that microscopic particles exhibit both wave-like and particle-like properties under different circumstances. Uniting these scattered ideas, a coherent discipline, quantum mechanics, was formulated between 1925 and 1926, with important contributions from de Broglie, Werner Heisenberg, Max Born, Erwin Schrödinger, Paul Dirac, and Wolfgang Pauli. 22-23 in the same year as his paper on the photoelectric effect, Einstein published his theory of special relativity, built on Maxwell's electromagnetism. New rules, called Lorentz transformation, were given for the way time and space coordinates of an event change under changes in the observer's velocity, and the distinction between time and space was blurred. 19 It was proposed that all physical laws must be the same for observers at different velocities, i.e. that physical laws be invariant under Lorentz transformations. Two difficulties remained. Observationally, the Schrödinger equation underlying quantum mechanics could explain the stimulated emission of radiation from atoms, where an electron emits a new photon under the action of an external electromagnetic field, but it was unable to explain spontaneous emission, where an electron spontaneously decreases in energy and emits a photon even without the action of an external electromagnetic field. Theoretically, the Schrödinger equation could not describe photons and was inconsistent with the principles of special relativity. It treats time as an ordinary number while promoting spatial coordinates to linear operators. Topic: <laughs> Quantum electrodynamics. Quantum field theory naturally began with the study of electromagnetic interactions, as the electromagnetic field was the only known classical field as of the 1920s, won through the works of Born, Heisenberg, and Pasquale Jordan in 1925-1926. A quantum theory of the free electromagnetic field, one with no interactions with matter, was developed via canonical quantization by treating the electromagnetic field as a set of quantum harmonic oscillators, one with the exclusion of interactions. However, such a theory was yet incapable of making quantitative predictions about the real world. 22 In his seminal 1927 paper The Quantum Theory of the Emission and Absorption of Radiation, Dirac coined the term quantum electrodynamics QED, a theory that adds upon the terms describing the free electromagnetic field an additional interaction term between electric current density and the electromagnetic vector potential. Using first-order perturbation theory, he successfully explained the phenomenon of spontaneous emission. According to the uncertainty principle in quantum mechanics, quantum harmonic oscillators cannot remain stationary, but they have a non-zero minimum energy and must always be oscillating, even in the lowest energy state, the ground state. Therefore, even in a perfect vacuum, there remains an oscillating electromagnetic field having zero-point energy. It is this quantum fluctuation of electromagnetic fields in the vacuum that stimulates the spontaneous emission of radiation by electrons in atoms. Dirac's theory was hugely successful in explaining both the emission and absorption of radiation by atoms. By applying second order perturbation theory, it was able to account for the scattering of photons, resonance fluorescence, as well as non relativistic Compton scattering. Nonetheless, the application of higher order perturbation theory was plagued with problematic infinities in calculations. In 1928, Dirac wrote down a wave equation that described relativistic electrons the Dirac equation. It had the following important consequences, the spin of an electron is one-half, the electron g-factor is two, it led to the correct Sommerfeld formula for the fine structure of the hydrogen atom, and it could be used to derive the Klein-Nishina formula for relativistic Compton scattering. Although the results were fruitful, the theory also apparently implied the existence of negative energy states, which would cause atoms to be unstable, since they could always decay to lower energy states by the emission of radiation. The prevailing view at the time was that the world was composed of two very different ingredients: material particles, such as electrons, and quantum fields, such as photons. Material particles were considered to be eternal, with their physical state described by the probabilities of finding each particle in any given region of space or range of velocities. 
On the other hand photons were considered merely the excited states of the underlying quantized electromagnetic field, and could be freely created or destroyed. It was between 1928 and 1930 that Jordan, Eugene Wigner, Heisenberg, Pauli, and Enrico Fermi discovered that material particles could also be seen as excited states of quantum fields. Just as photons are excited states of the quantized electromagnetic field, so each type of particle had its corresponding quantum field, an electron field, a proton field, etc. Given enough energy, it would now be possible to create material particles. Building on this idea, Fermi proposed in 1932 an explanation for beta decay known as Fermi's interaction. Atomic nuclei do not contain electrons per se, but in the process of decay, an electron is created out of the surrounding electron field, analogous to the photon created from the surrounding electromagnetic field in the radiative decay of an excited atom. 22 23 It was realized in 1929 by Dirac and others that negative energy states implied by the Dirac equation could be removed by assuming the existence of particles with the same mass as electrons but opposite electric charge. This not only ensured the stability of atoms, but it was also the first proposal of the existence of antimatter. Indeed, the evidence for positrons was discovered in 1932 by Carl David Anderson in Cosmic Rays. With enough energy, such as by absorbing a photon, an electron positron pair could be created. A process called pair production, the reverse process, annihilation, could also occur with the emission of a photon. This showed that particle numbers need not be fixed during an interaction. Historically, however, positrons were at first thought of as holes in an infinite electron C, rather than a new kind of particle, and this theory was referred to as the Dirac hole theory. 23 QFT naturally incorporated antiparticles in its formalism. 24 Topic: <laughs> Infinities and renormalization. Robert Oppenheimer showed in 1930 that higher-order perturbative calculations in QED always resulted in infinite quantities, such as the electron self-energy and the vacuum zero-point energy of the electron and photon fields, suggesting that the computational methods at the time could not properly deal with interactions involving photons with extremely high momenta. 25 It was not until 20 years later that a systematic approach to remove such infinities was developed. A series of papers were published between 1934 and 1938 by Ernst Stueckelberg that established a relativistically invariant formulation of QFT. In 1947, Stueckelberg also independently developed a complete renormalization procedure. Unfortunately, such achievements were not understood and recognized by the theoretical community. Faced with these infinities, John Archibald Wheeler and Heisenberg proposed, in 1937 and 1943 respectively, to supplant the problematic QFT with the so called S matrix theory. Since the specific details of microscopic interactions are inaccessible to observations, the theory should only attempt to describe the relationships between a small number of observables e the energy of an atom in an interaction, rather than be concerned with the microscopic minutiae of the interaction. In 1945, Richard Feynman and Wheeler daringly suggested abandoning QFT altogether and proposed action at a distance as the mechanism of particle interactions. 26 In 1947, Willis Lamb and Robert Rutherford measured the minute difference in the 2s1/2 and 2p1/2 energy levels of the hydrogen atom, also called the Lamb shift. By ignoring the contribution of photons whose energy exceeds the electron mass, Hans Bethe successfully estimated the numerical value of the Lamb shift. 28 Subsequently, Norman Miles Kroll, Lamb, James Bruce French, and Victor Weisskopf again confirmed this value using an approach in which infinities cancelled other infinities to result in finite quantities. However, this method was clumsy and unreliable and could not be generalized to other calculations. The breakthrough eventually came around 1950 when a more robust method for eliminating infinities was developed Julian Schwinger, Feynman, Freeman Dyson, and Shinichiro Tomonaga. The main idea is to replace the initial, so called, bare parameters mass, electric charge, etc., which have no physical meaning, by their finite measured values. To cancel the apparently infinite parameters, one has to introduce additional, infinite, counterterms, into the Lagrangian. 
This systematic computational procedure is known as renormalization and can be applied to arbitrary order in perturbation theory. By applying the renormalization procedure, calculations were finally made to explain the electron's anomalous magnetic moment, the deviation of the electron g factor from 2, and vacuum polarization. These results agreed with experimental measurements to a remarkable degree, thus marking the end of a war against infinities. At the same time, Feynman introduced the path integral formulation of quantum mechanics and Feynman diagrams, two the latter can be used to visually and intuitively organize and to help compute terms in the perturbative expansion. Each diagram can be interpreted as paths of particles in an interaction, with each vertex and line having a corresponding mathematical expression, and the product of these expressions gives the scattering amplitude of the interaction represented by the diagram. 5. It was with the invention of the renormalization procedure and Feynman diagrams that QFT finally arose as a complete theoretical framework. 2. Non-renormalizability Given the tremendous success of QED, many theorists believed, in the few years after 1949, that QFT could soon provide an understanding of all microscopic phenomena, not only the interactions between photons, electrons, and positrons. Contrary to this optimism, QFT entered yet another period of depression that lasted for almost two decades. 30 The first obstacle was the limited applicability of the renormalization procedure. In perturbative calculations in QED, all infinite quantities could be eliminated by redefining a small finite number of physical quantities namely the mass and charge of the electron. Dyson proved in 1949 that this is only possible for a small class of theories called renormalizable theories, of which QED is an example. However, most theories, including the Fermi theory of the weak interaction, are non-renormalizable. Any perturbative calculation in these theories beyond the first order would result in infinities that could not be removed by redefining a finite number of physical quantities. 30 The second major problem stemmed from the limited validity of the Feynman diagram method, which are based on a series expansion in perturbation theory. In order for the series to converge and low order calculations to be a good approximation, the coupling constant, in which the series is expanded, must be a sufficiently small number. The coupling constant in QED is the fine structure constant alpha approximately equals 1 137th, which is small enough that only the simplest, lowest order, Feynman diagrams need to be considered in realistic calculations. In contrast, the coupling constant in the strong interaction is roughly of the order of 1, making complicated, higher order, Feynman diagrams just as important as simple ones. There was thus no way of deriving reliable quantitative predictions for the strong interaction using perturbative QFT methods. 31 With these difficulties looming, many theorists began to turn away from QFT. Some focused on symmetry principles and conservation laws, while others picked up the old S matrix theory of Wheeler and Heisenberg. QFT was used heuristically as guiding principles, but not as a basis for quantitative calculations. 31 Topic. Standard model In 1954, Yang Chen Ning and Robert Mills generalized the local symmetry of QED, leading to non-abelian gauge theories also known as Yang-Mills theories, which are based on more complicated local symmetry groups. In QED, electrically charged particles interact via the exchange of photons, while in non-abelian gauge theory, particles carrying a new type of charge interact via the exchange of massless gauge bosons. Unlike photons, these gauge bosons themselves carry charge. 32 Sheldon Glashow developed a non-abelian gauge theory that unified the electromagnetic and weak interactions in 1960. In 1964, Abdul Salam and John Clive Ward arrived at the same theory through a different path. This theory, nevertheless, was non-renormalizable. Peter Higgs, Robert Brout, and François Englert proposed in 1964 that the gauge symmetry in Yang-Mills theories could be broken by a mechanism called spontaneous symmetry breaking, through which originally massless gauge bosons could acquire mass. 5 to 6 by combining the earlier theory of Glashow, Salam, and Ward with the idea of spontaneous symmetry breaking, Steven Weinberg wrote down in 1967 a theory describing electroweak interactions between all leptons and the effects of the Higgs boson. 
His theory was at first mostly ignored, six until it was brought back to light in 1971 by Gerard T. Hooft's proof that non-abelian gauge theories are renormalizable. The electroweak theory of Weinberg and Salam was extended from leptons to quarks in 1970 by Glashow, John Iliopoulos, and Luciano Maiani, marking its completion. Harold Fritsch, Murray Gell-Mann, and Heinrich Lutweiler discovered in 1971 that certain phenomena involving the strong interaction could also be explained by non-abelian gauge theory. Quantum chromodynamics (QCD) was born. In 1973, David Gross, Frank Vilcek, and Hugh David Pulitzer showed that non-abelian gauge theories are asymptotically free, meaning that under renormalization, the coupling constant of the strong interaction decreases as the interaction energy increases. Similar discoveries had been made numerous times prior, but they had been largely ignored. Eleven, therefore, at least in high-energy interactions, the coupling constant in QCD becomes sufficiently small to warrant a perturbative series expansion, making quantitative predictions for the strong interaction possible. Thirty-two, these theoretical breakthroughs brought about a renaissance in QFT. The full theory, which includes the electroweak theory and chromodynamics, is referred to today as the standard model of elementary particles. The standard model successfully describes all fundamental interactions except gravity, and its many predictions have been met with remarkable experimental confirmation in subsequent decades. Three, the Higgs boson, central to the mechanism of spontaneous symmetry breaking, was finally detected in 2012 at CERN, marking the complete verification of the existence of all constituents of the standard model. Other developments The 1970s saw the development of non-perturbative methods in non-abelian gauge theories. The T. Hooft Polyakov monopole was discovered by T. Hooft and Alexander Polyakov, flux tubes by Holger Bech Nielsen and Poole Ollison, and instantons by Polyakov et al. These objects are inaccessible through perturbation theory. Four supersymmetry also appeared in the same period. The first supersymmetric QFT in four dimensions was built by Yuri Golfand and Yevgeny Lichtman in 1970, but their result failed to garner widespread interest due to the Iron Curtain. Supersymmetry only took off in the theoretical community after the work of Julius Wesses and Bruno Zumino in 1973. Seven among the four fundamental interactions, gravity remains the only one that lacks a consistent QFT description. Various attempts at a theory of quantum gravity led to the development of string theory, six itself a type of two-dimensional QFT with conformal symmetry. Joel Shirk and John Schwartz first proposed in 1974 that string theory could be the quantum theory of gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Condensed matter physics Although quantum field theory arose from the study of interactions between elementary particles, it has been successfully applied to other physical systems, particularly to many body systems in condensed matter physics. Historically, the Higgs mechanism of spontaneous symmetry breaking was a result of Yoichiro Nambu's application of superconductor theory to elementary particles, while the concept of renormalization came out of the study of second order phase transitions in matter. Soon after the introduction of photons, Einstein performed the quantization procedure on vibrations in a crystal, leading to the first quasiparticle phonons. Lev Landau claimed that low-energy excitations in many condensed matter systems could be described in terms of interactions between a set of quasiparticles. The Feynman diagram method of QFT was naturally well suited to the analysis of various phenomena in condensed matter systems. Gauge theory is used to describe the quantization of magnetic flux in superconductors, the resistivity in the quantum Hall effect, as well as the relation between frequency and voltage in the AC Josephson effect. Principles For simplicity, natural units are used in the following sections, in which the reduced Planck constant h and the speed of light c are both set to 1. Classical fields A classical field is a function of spatial and time coordinates. Examples include the gravitational field in Newtonian gravity G x, t, and the electric field E x, t, and magnetic field B x, t, in classical electromagnetism. 
A classical field can be thought of as a numerical quantity assigned to every point in space that changes in time. Hence, it has infinite degrees of freedom. Many phenomena exhibiting quantum mechanical properties cannot be explained by classical fields alone. Phenomena such as the photoelectric effect are best explained by discrete particles photons, rather than a spatially continuous field. The goal of quantum field theory is to describe various quantum mechanical phenomena using a modified concept of fields. Canonical quantization and path integrals are two common formulations of QFT. To motivate the fundamentals of QFT, an overview of classical field theory is in order. The simplest classical field is a real scalar field, a real number at every point in space that changes in time. It is denoted as phi x, t, where x is the position vector, and t is the time. Suppose the Lagrangian of the field is L equals d 3 x L equals d 3 x 1 2 phi 2 minus 1 2 phi 2 minus 1 2 m 2 phi 2 Display style L equals int D carrot three x math call L equals int D carrot three x left FRAC one two dot phi carrot two FRAC one two nabla phi carrot two FRAC one two M carrot two phi carrot two right where phi display style dot phi is the time derivative of the field, is the divergence operator, and M is a real parameter, the mass of the field. Applying the Euler Lagrange equation on the Lagrangian, 1 6 t l phi t plus i equals 1 3 x i l phi x i minus l phi equals Zero. Display style frac partial partial t left frac partial math call l partial partial phi partial t right plus sum underscore i equals one caret three frac partial partial x caret i left frac partial math call l partial partial phi partial x caret i right frac partial math call l partial phi equals zero. We obtain the equations of motion for the field, which describe the way it varies in time and space. Two t two minus two plus m two phi equals zero. Display style left frac partial caret two partial t caret two nabla caret two plus m caret two right phi equals zero. This is known as the Klein-Gordon equation. 17 The Klein-Gordon equation is a wave equation, so its solutions can be expressed as a sum of normal modes obtained via Fourier transform as follows phi x t equals d 3 p 2 pi 3 1 2 omega P A P E minus I Omega P T plus I P X plus A P E I Omega P T minus I P X 
Display style phi math bf x t equals int frac d caret three p two pi caret three frac one sqrt two omega underscore math bf p left a underscore math bf p e caret i omega underscore math bf p t plus i math bf p c d o t math bf x plus a underscore math bf p caret asterisk e caret i omega underscore math bf p t i math bf p C D O T Math B F X right, where A is a complex number normalized by convention, asterisk denotes complex conjugation, and omega P is the frequency of the normal mode. Omega P equals P two plus M two. Display style omega underscore math bf p equals sqrt math bf p caret two plus m caret two. Thus, each normal mode corresponding to a single p can be seen as a classical harmonic oscillator with frequency omega p twenty one twenty six. Topic: Canonical quantization. The quantization procedure for the above classical field is analogous to the promotion of a classical harmonic oscillator to a quantum harmonic oscillator. The displacement of a classical harmonic oscillator is described by x t equals 1 2 omega a e minus i omega t plus 1 2 omega a e i omega t Display style x t equals frac 1 sqrt 2 omega a caret i omega t plus frac 1 sqrt 2 omega a caret asterisk e caret i omega t where a is a complex number normalized by convention, and omega is the oscillator's frequency. Note that x is the displacement of a particle in simple harmonic motion from the equilibrium position, which should not be confused with the spatial label x of a field. For a quantum harmonic oscillator, x t is promoted to a linear operator x caret t display style hat x t x Carrot t equals one two omega a carrot e minus i omega t plus one two omega a carrot e i omega t Display style hat x t equals frac 1 sqrt 2 omega hat a e caret i omega t plus frac 1 sqrt 2 omega hat a caret dagger e caret i omega t. Complex numbers a and a asterisk are replaced by the annihilation operator a caret display style hat a and the creation operator a caret Display style hat a caret dagger, respectively, where denotes Hermitian conjugation. The commutation relation between the two is a caret a caret equals one. Display style hat a hat a caret dagger equals one. The vacuum state zero. Display style zero wrangle which is the lowest energy state is defined by a caret 0 equals 0 display style hat a 0 wrangle equals 0 any quantum state of a single harmonic oscillator can be obtained from 0 display style 0 wrangle by successively applying the creation operator a caret Display style hat a caret dagger two o n equals a caret n zero 
Display style n wrangle equals hat a carrot dagger carrot n zero wrangle. By the same token, the aforementioned real scalar field phi, which corresponds to x in the single harmonic oscillator, is also promoted to an operator phi caret display style hat phi, while app and app asterisk are replaced by the annihilation operator a caret p display style hat a underscore math bf p, and the creation operator caret p display style hat a underscore math bf p caret dagger for a particular p respectively phi caret x t equals d 3 p 2 pi 3 1 2 omega P A carrot P E minus I Omega P T plus I P X plus a carrot P E I Omega P T Minus I P X Display style hat phi math BF x T equals int FRAC D carrot three P two Pi carrot three FRAC one SQRT two Omega underscore math BF P left hat a underscore math BF P E carrot I Omega underscore math BF P T plus I math BF P C D O T math BF x plus hat a underscore math BF P carrot dagger E carrot I Omega underscore math BF P T I Math BF P C D O T Math BF X right. Their commutation relations are two one a carrot P A carrot Q equals two Pi three Delta P minus Q A carrot P A carrot Q equals a carrot P a carrot Q equals zero Display style hat a underscore math BF P hat a underscore math BF Q carrot dagger equals two pi carrot three delta math BF P math BF Q quad hat a underscore math BF P hat a underscore math BF Q equals hat a underscore math BF P carrot dagger hat a underscore math BF Q carrot dagger equals zero where delta is the Dirac delta function the vacuum state Zero display style zero wrangle is defined by a carrot p zero equals zero for all p display style hat a underscore math bf p zero wrangle equals zero quad text for all math bf p any quantum state of the field can be obtained from zero Display style zero wrangle by successively applying creation operators a caret p display style hat a underscore math bf p caret dagger e g twenty two a caret p three three a caret p two Carrot P one two zero Display style hat a underscore math BF P underscore three carrot dagger carrot three hat a underscore math BF P underscore two carrot dagger hat a underscore math BF P underscore one carrot dagger carrot two zero wrangle 
Although the field appearing in the Lagrangian is spatially continuous, the quantum states of the field are discrete. While the state space of a single quantum harmonic oscillator contains all the discrete energy states of one oscillating particle, the state space of a quantum field contains the discrete energy levels of an arbitrary number of particles. The latter space is known as a Fox space, which can account for the fact that particle numbers are not fixed in relativistic quantum systems. The process of quantizing an arbitrary number of particles instead of a single particle is often also called second quantization. 19 The preceding procedure is a direct application of non relativistic quantum mechanics and can be used to quantize complex scalar fields, Dirac fields, 52 vector fields, e.g., the electromagnetic field, and even strings. However, creation and annihilation operators are only well defined in the simplest theories that contain no interactions. So -called free theory. In the case of the real scalar field, the existence of these operators was a consequence of the decomposition of solutions of the classical equations of motion into a sum of normal modes. To perform calculations on any realistic interacting theory, perturbation theory would be necessary. The Lagrangian of any quantum field in nature would contain interaction terms in addition to the free theory terms. For example, a quartic interaction term could be introduced to the Lagrangian of the real scalar field, 7 7 L equals 1 2 mu phi mu phi minus 1 2 m 2 phi 2 minus lambda 4 phi 4 Display style math call L equals FRAC one two partial underscore mu phi partial carrot mu phi FRAC one two M carrot two phi carrot two FRAC lambda four phi carrot four where mu is a spacetime index zero equals T one equals X one Display style partial underscore zero equals partial partial t partial underscore one equals partial partial x caret one, etc. The summation over the index mu has been omitted following the Einstein notation. If the parameter lambda is sufficiently small, then the interacting theory described by the above Lagrangian can be considered as a small perturbation from the free theory. Topic. Path integrals The path integral formulation of QFT is concerned with the direct computation of the scattering amplitude of a certain interaction process, rather than the establishment of operators and state spaces. To calculate the probability amplitude for a system to evolve from some initial state phi i wrangle at time t equals zero to some final state, phi f display style phi underscore f wrangle at t equals t, the total time t is divided into n small intervals. The overall amplitude is the product of the amplitude of evolution within each interval, integrated over all intermediate states. Let h be the Hamiltonian, i.e., generator of time evolution. Then ten phi f E minus I H T Phi I equals D Phi one D Phi two D Phi N minus one Phi F E minus I H T N Phi N minus one Phi two E minus I H T N Phi one Phi one E minus I H T N Phi I 
Display style Langle Phi underscore F E carrot I H T Phi underscore I wrangle equals in D Phi underscore one in D Phi underscore two C D O T S in D Phi underscore N one Langle Phi underscore F E carrot I H T N Phi underscore N one Wrangle C D O T S Langle Phi underscore two E carrot I H T N Phi underscore one Wrangle Langle Phi underscore one E carrot I H T N Phi underscore I wrangle Taking the limit n infinity, the above product of integrals becomes the Feynman path integral 28212 phi f e minus i h t phi i equals d phi t exp i zero t D T L Display style Langle Phi underscore F E carrot I H T Phi underscore I Wrangle equals int math call D Phi T E X P left I in underscore zero carrot T D T L right where L is the Lagrangian involving phi and its derivatives with respect to spatial and time coordinates, obtained from the Hamiltonian H via Legendre transform. The initial and final conditions of the path integral are respectively phi zero equals phi i phi t equals phi f display style phi zero equals phi underscore i quad phi t equals phi underscore f in other words, the overall amplitude is the sum over the amplitude of every possible path between the initial and final states, where the amplitude of a path is given by the exponential in the integrand. Topic: <laughs> Two-point correlation function. Now we assume that the theory contains interactions whose Lagrangian terms are a small perturbation from the free theory. In calculations, one often encounters such expressions Omega T Phi X Phi Y Omega Display style Langle Omega T Phi X Phi Y Omega Wrangle where x and y are position 4 vectors, t is the time ordering operator namely, it orders x and y according to their time component, later time on the left and earlier time on the right, and omega wrangle is the ground state, vacuum state of the interacting theory. This expression, known as the two-point correlation function or the two-point Green's function, represents the probability amplitude for the field to propagate from y to x. 82 in canonical quantization the two point correlation function can be written as 87 omega t phi x phi y omega equals lim t infinity 1 minus i e 0 t phi I x phi i y exp minus i minus t t d t h i t zero zero t exp minus I minus T T D T H I T zero Display style Langle Omega T Phi X Phi Y Omega Wrangle equals Lim underscore T two in a T one I Epsilon FRAC Langle zero T left Phi underscore I X Phi underscore I Y EXP left I in underscore T carrot T D T H underscore I T right right zero Wrangle Langle zero T left EXP left I in underscore T carrot T D T H underscore I T right right zero Wrangle. 
where epsilon is an infinitesimal number, phi i is the field operator under the free theory, and hi is the interaction Hamiltonian term. For the phi 4 theory, it is 84 h i t equals d x 3 lambda 4 phi i x 4 Display style h underscore i t equals int dx caret three frac lambda four phi underscore i x caret four. Since lambda is a small parameter, the exponential function exp can be expanded into a Taylor series in lambda and computed term by term. This equation is useful in that it expresses the field operator and ground state in the interacting theory, which are difficult to define in terms of their counterparts in the free theory, which are well defined. In the path integral formulation, the two-point correlation function can be written as 284 omega t phi x phi y omega equals lim t infinity 1 minus i e d phi phi x phi y exp i minus t t d 4 z l d phi exp i minus t t d 4 z L display style Langle Omega T Phi X Phi Y Omega Wrangle equals Lim underscore T two in a T one I Epsilon FRAC int math call D Phi Phi X Phi Y EXP left I int underscore T carrot T D carrot four Z math call L right int math call D Phi EXP left I int underscore T carrot T D carrot four Z math call L right where L display style math call L is the Lagrangian density. As in the previous paragraph, the exponential factor involving the interaction term can also be expanded as a series in lambda. According to Wick's theorem, any n-point correlation function in the free theory can be written as a sum of products of two-point correlation functions. For example, zero t phi x 1 phi x 2 phi x 3 phi x 4 0 equals 0 t phi x 1 phi x 2 0 0 T Phi X three Phi X four zero plus zero T Phi X one Phi X three zero zero T Phi X Two Phi X four zero plus zero T Phi X one Phi X four zero zero T Phi x two phi x three zero display style begin aligned Langle zero T phi x underscore one phi x underscore two phi x underscore three phi x underscore four zero wrangle equals and Langle zero T phi x underscore one phi x underscore two zero wrangle Langle zero T phi x underscore three phi x underscore four zero wrangle and plus Langle zero T phi x underscore one phi x underscore three zero wrangle 
wrangle 0 t phi x underscore 2 phi x underscore 4 0 wrangle and plus wrangle 0 t phi x underscore 1 phi x underscore 4 0 wrangle wrangle 0 t phi x underscore 2 phi x underscore 3 0 wrangle end aligned since correlation functions in the interacting theory can be expressed in terms of those in the free theory only the latter need to be evaluated in order to calculate all physical quantities in the perturbative interacting theory. 90 either through canonical quantization or path integrals, one can obtain d f x minus y 0 t phi x phi y 0 equals d 4 p 2 pi 4 i p mu p mu minus m 2 plus i e e minus i p mu x mu minus y mu Display style d underscore f x y equiv langle zero t phi x phi y zero wrangle equals int frac d caret four p two pi caret four frac i p underscore mu p caret mu m caret two plus i epsilon e caret ip underscore mu x caret mu y caret mu. This is known as the Feynman propagator for the real scalar field. Thirty one thousand two hundred eighty eight to twenty three. Topic. Feynman diagram Correlation functions in the interacting theory can be written as a perturbation series. Each term in the series is a product of Feynman propagators in the free theory and can be represented visually by a Feynman diagram. For example, the λ1 term in the two-point correlation function in the Φ4 theory is minus I λ4 0 t phi x phi y d 4 z phi z phi z phi z phi z 0 Display style frac i lambda four langle zero t phi x phi y in d caret four z phi z phi z phi z phi z zero wrangle. After applying Wick's theorem, one of the terms is twelve minus i lambda four d four z d f x minus z d f y minus z d f z minus z Display style twelve C D O T F R A C I Lambda four in D carrot four Z D underscore F X Z D underscore F Y Z D underscore F Z Z whose corresponding Feynman diagram is Every point corresponds to a single phi field factor. Points labeled with x and y are called external points, while those in the interior are called internal points or vertices there is one in this diagram. The value of the corresponding term can be obtained from the diagram by following Feynman rules. Assign minus i lambda d 4 z Display style i lambda int d caret 4 z to every vertex and the Feynman propagator d f x 1 minus x 2 display style d underscore f x underscore 1 x underscore 2 to every line with endpoints x 1 and x 2 the product of factors corresponding to every element in the diagram divided by the symmetry factor 
2 for this diagram, gives the expression for the term in the perturbation series. 91 to 94 in order to compute the endpoint correlation function to the kth order, list all valid Feynman diagrams with n external points and k or fewer vertices, and then use Feynman rules to obtain the expression for each term. To be precise, omega t phi x 1 phi x n omega Display style Langle Omega T Phi x underscore one C D O T S Phi x underscore N Omega Wrangle is equal to the sum of expressions corresponding to all connected diagrams with N external points. Connected diagrams are those in which every vertex is connected to an external point through lines. Components that are totally disconnected from external lines are sometimes called vacuum bubbles. In the phi 4 interaction theory discussed above, every vertex must have four legs, 98 in realistic applications. The scattering amplitude of a certain interaction or the decay rate of a particle can be computed from the S matrix, which itself can be found using the Feynman diagram method. 102 to 115 Feynman diagrams devoid of loops are called tree-level diagrams, which describe the lowest-order interaction processes. Those containing n-loops are referred to as n-loop diagrams, which describe higher-order contributions, or radiative corrections, to the interaction. Forty-four lines whose endpoints are vertices can be thought of as the propagation of virtual particles. 31 Topic. Renormalization Feynman rules can be used to directly evaluate tree-level diagrams. However, naive computation of loop diagrams such as the one shown above will result in divergent momentum integrals, which seems to imply that almost all terms in the perturbative expansion are infinite. The renormalization procedure is a systematic process for removing such infinities. Parameters appearing in the Lagrangian, such as the mass m and the coupling constant λ, have no physical meaning m, lambda, and the field strength phi are not experimentally measurable quantities and are referred to here as the bare mass, bare coupling constant, and bare field, respectively. The physical mass and coupling constant are measured in some interaction process and are generally different from the bare quantities. While computing physical quantities from this interaction process, one may limit the domain of divergent momentum integrals to be below some momentum cutoff lambda, obtain expressions for the physical quantities, and then take the limit lambda infinity. This is an example of regularization, a class of methods to treat divergences in QFT, with lambda being the regulator. The approach illustrated above is called bare perturbation theory, as calculations involve only the bare quantities such as mass and coupling constant. A different approach, called renormalized perturbation theory, is to use physically meaningful quantities from the very beginning. In the case of phi 4 theory, the field strength is first redefined phi equals z 1 2 phi r display style phi equals z caret 1 half phi underscore r where phi is the bare field, phi r is the renormalized field, and z is a constant to be determined. The Lagrangian density becomes L equals 1 2 mu phi r mu phi r minus 1 2 m r 2 Phi R two minus Lambda four Phi R four plus one two Delta Z mu Phi R mu Phi R minus one two Delta M Phi R two minus Delta Lambda four Phi R four 
Display style math call L equals FRAC one two partial underscore mu phi underscore R partial carrot mu phi underscore R FRAC one two M underscore R carrot two phi underscore R carrot two FRAC lambda four phi underscore R carrot four plus FRAC one two delta underscore Z partial underscore mu phi underscore R partial carrot mu phi underscore R FRAC one two delta underscore Score M phi underscore R carrot two FRAC delta underscore lambda four phi underscore R carrot four where Mr. and Lambda R are the experimentally measurable, renormalized, mass and coupling constant, respectively, and delta Z equals Z minus one delta M equals M Two Z minus M R two Delta Lambda equals Lambda Z two minus Lambda R Display style delta underscore z equals z one quad delta underscore m equals m carrot two z m underscore r carrot two quad delta underscore lambda equals lambda z carrot two lambda underscore r are constants to be determined. The first three terms are the phi four Lagrangian density written in terms of the renormalized quantities, while the latter three terms are referred to as counterterms. As the Lagrangian now contains more terms, so the Feynman diagrams should include additional elements, each with their own Feynman rules. The procedure is outlined as follows. First select a regularization scheme such as the cutoff regularization introduced above or dimensional regularization, call the regulator λ, compute Feynman diagrams, in which divergent terms will depend on λ, then, define delta z, delta m, and dl such that Feynman diagrams for the counterterms will exactly cancel the divergent terms in the normal Feynman diagrams when the limit λ infinity is taken. In this way, meaningful finite quantities are obtained. 323 to 326. It is only possible to eliminate all infinities to obtain a finite result in renormalizable theories, whereas in non-renormalizable theories, infinities cannot be removed by the redefinition of a small number of parameters. The standard model of elementary particles is a renormalizable QFT, 719 to 727, while quantum gravity is non-renormalizable. 798 to 421 Topic Renormalization group The renormalization group developed by Kenneth Wilson is a mathematical apparatus used to study the changes in physical parameters coefficients in the lagrangian as the system is viewed at different scales 393 the way in which each parameter changes with scale is described by its beta function 417 correlation functions which underlie quantitative physical predictions change with scale according to the kalin semanzic equation 410 to 411 as an example the coupling constant in qed D, namely the elementary charge E, has the following beta function beta E 1 lambda D E D lambda equals E 3 12 pi 2 plus O E 5 Display style beta e equiv frac one lambda frac d d lambda equals frac e caret three twelve pi caret two plus o e caret five, where lambda is the energy scale under which the measurement of e is performed. This differential equation implies that the observed elementary charge increases as the scale increases. The renormalized coupling constant, which changes with the energy scale, is also called the running coupling constant. 420 The coupling constant G in quantum chromodynamics, a non-abelian gauge theory based on the symmetry group SU has the following beta function beta G 1 lambda D G D lambda equals G 3 16 pi 2 
minus 11 plus 2 3 n f display style beta g equiv frac 1 lambda frac d g d lambda equals frac g caret 3 16 pi caret 2 left minus 11 plus frac 2 3 n underscore f right where n f is the number of quark flavors in the case where n f 16 the standard model has n f topic 6 the coupling constant g decreases as the energy scale increases hence while the strong interaction is strong at low energies it becomes very weak in high energy interactions a phenomenon known as asymptotic freedom 531 conformal field theories cfts are special qfts that admit conformal symmetry they are insensitive to changes in the scale, as all their coupling constants have vanishing beta function. The converse is not true, however the vanishing of all beta functions does not imply conformal symmetry of the theory. Examples include string theory and N. 4 Supersymmetric Young Mills theory. According to Wilson's picture, every QFT is fundamentally accompanied by its energy cutoff λ, i.e., that the theory is no longer valid at energies higher than λ, and all degrees of freedom above the scale λ are to be omitted. For example, the cutoff could be the inverse of the atomic spacing in a condensed matter system, and in elementary particle physics it could be associated with the fundamental graininess of spacetime caused by quantum fluctuations in gravity. The cutoff scale of theories of particle interactions lies far beyond current experiments. Even if the theory were very complicated at that scale, as long as its couplings are sufficiently weak, it must be described at low energies by a renormalizable effective field theory. 402 to 403 The difference between renormalizable and non renormalizable theories is that the former are insensitive to details at high energies, whereas the latter do depend of them. 2 According to this view, non renormalizable theories are to be seen as low energy effective theories of a more fundamental theory. The failure to remove the cutoff lambda from calculations in such a theory merely indicates that new physical phenomena appear at scales above lambda, where a new theory is necessary. 156. Topic: <laughs> Other theories. The quantization and renormalization procedures outlined in the preceding sections are performed for the free theory and phi4 theory of the real scalar field. A similar process can be done for other types of fields, including the complex scalar field, the vector field, and the Dirac field, as well as other types of interaction terms, including the electromagnetic interaction and the Yukawa interaction. As an example, quantum electrodynamics contains a Dirac field ψ representing the electron field and a vector field a mu representing the electromagnetic field, photon field. Despite its name, the quantum electromagnetic field actually corresponds to the classical electromagnetic four potential, rather than the classical electric and magnetic fields. The full QED Lagrangian density is L equals psi I gamma mu mu minus M psi minus 1 4 F mu nu f mu nu minus e psi gamma mu psi a mu Display style math call L equals bar psi I gamma carrot mu partial underscore mu M psi FRAC one four F underscore mu nu F carrot mu nu E bar psi gamma carrot mu psi A underscore mu where GM are Dirac matrices psi equals psi gamma zero Display style bar psi equals psi caret dagger gamma caret zero and f mu nu equals mu a nu minus nu a mu 
Display style f underscore mu new equals partial underscore mu a underscore new partial underscore new a underscore mu is the electromagnetic field strength. The parameters in this theory are the bare electron mass m and the bare elementary charge e. The first and second terms in the Lagrangian density correspond to the free Dirac field and free vector fields, respectively. The last term describes the interaction between the electron and photon fields, which is treated as a perturbation from the free theories. 78 Shown above is an example of a tree-level Feynman diagram in QED. It describes an electron and a positron annihilating, creating an off-shell photon, and then decaying into a new pair of electron and positron. Time runs from left to right. Arrows pointing forward in time represent the propagation of positrons, while those pointing backward in time represent the propagation of electrons. A wavy line represents the propagation of a photon. Each vertex in QED Feynman diagrams must have an incoming and an outgoing fermion positron, electron, leg as well as a photon leg. Topic. Gauge symmetry. If the following transformation to the fields is performed at every spacetime point x a local transformation, then the QED Lagrangian remains unchanged, or invariant psi x e i alpha x psi x a mu x a mu x plus I E minus one E minus I alpha X mu E I alpha X Display style psi x to e carrot i alpha x psi x quad a underscore mu x to a underscore mu x plus i e carrot minus one e carrot i alpha x partial underscore mu e carrot i alpha x, where alpha x is any function of spacetime coordinates. If a theory's Lagrangian, or more precisely the action, is invariant under a certain local transformation, then the transformation is referred to as a gauge symmetry of the theory. 482 to 483 gauge symmetries form a group at every spacetime point. In the case of QED, the successive application of two different local symmetry transformations, e i alpha x. Display style e caret i alpha x and e i alpha x display style e caret i alpha x is yet another symmetry transformation e i alpha x plus alpha x display style e caret i alpha x plus alpha x for any alpha x e i alpha x display style e caret i alpha x is an element of the u1 group thus qed is said to have u1 gauge symmetry 496 the photon field a mu may be referred to as the u1 gauge boson u1 is an abelian group meaning that the result is the same regardless of the order in which its elements are applied QFTs can also be built on non-abelian groups, giving rise to non-abelian gauge theories also known as Yang-Mills theories. 489 Quantum chromodynamics, which describes the strong interaction, is a non-abelian gauge theory with an SU gauge symmetry. It contains three Dirac fields psi i, i. Topic. 1, 2, 3 representing quark fields as well as eight vector fields a, mu, a. 1 8 representing gluon fields, which are the SU gauge bosons. 547 The QCD Lagrangian density is, 490 to 491 L equals I psi I gamma mu d mu I j psi J minus 
1 4 f mu nu a f a mu nu minus m psi i psi i Display style math call L equals I bar psi carrot I gamma carrot mu D underscore mu carrot I j psi carrot j frac one four f underscore mu nu carrot a f carrot a mu nu m bar psi carrot I psi carrot I where D mu is the gauge covariant derivative D mu equals mu minus I G of mu a t a display style d underscore mu equals partial underscore mu i g a underscore mu caret a t caret a, where g is the coupling constant. Ta are the eight generators of SU three in the fundamental representation three times three matrices f mu nu a equals mu a nu a minus nu a mu a plus g f a b c a mu b a nu c Display style f underscore mu nu caret a equals partial underscore mu a underscore nu caret a partial underscore nu a underscore mu caret a plus g f caret a b c a underscore mu caret b a underscore nu caret c, and f a b c are the structure constants of SU three. Repeated indices i j a are implicitly summed over following Einstein notation. This Lagrangian is invariant under the transformation psi i x u i j x psi j x a mu a x t a u x a mu a x t a plus i g minus 1 mu u x Display style psi caret i x to u caret i j x psi caret j x quad a underscore mu caret a x t caret a to u x left a underscore mu caret a x t caret a plus i g caret minus one partial underscore mu right u caret dagger x, where u x is an element of SU three at every spacetime point x. U x equals e I alpha x a t a display style u x equals e caret i alpha x caret a t caret of the preceding discussion of symmetries is on the level of the Lagrangian. In other words, these are classical symmetries. After quantization, some theories will no longer exhibit their classical symmetries, a phenomenon called anomaly. For instance, in the path integral formulation, despite the invariance of the Lagrangian density, L phi mu phi display style math call L phi partial underscore mu phi under a certain local transformation of the fields, the measure d phi display style int math call d phi of the path integral may change 243 for a theory describing nature to be consistent it must not contain any anomaly in its gauge symmetry 
The standard model of elementary particles is a gauge theory based on the group SU times SU times U in which all anomalies exactly cancel. 705–707 The theoretical foundation of general relativity, the equivalence principle, can also be understood as a form of gauge symmetry, making general relativity a gauge theory based on the Lorentz group. Noether's theorem states that every continuous symmetry, i.e. the parameter in the symmetry transformation being continuous rather than discrete, leads to a corresponding conservation law, 17–18–73 For example, the U symmetry of QED implies charge conservation, gauge transformations do not relate distinct quantum states. Rather, it relates two equivalent mathematical descriptions of the same quantum state. As an example, the photon field A mu, being a four vector, has four apparent degrees of freedom, but the actual state of a photon is described by its two degrees of freedom corresponding to the polarization. The remaining two degrees of freedom are said to be redundant. Apparently different ways of writing A mu can be related to each other by a gauge transformation and in fact describe the same state of the photon field. In this sense, gauge invariance is not a real symmetry, but are a reflection of the redundancy of the chosen mathematical description. 168 To account for the gauge redundancy in the path integral formulation, one must perform the so-called fadiv popov gauge fixing procedure. In non-abelian gauge theories, such a procedure introduces new fields called ghosts. Particles corresponding to the ghost fields are called ghost particles, which cannot be detected externally. 512 to 515 A more rigorous generalization of the fadiv popov procedure is given by BRST quantization. 517 Topic: Spontaneous symmetry breaking Spontaneous symmetry breaking is a mechanism whereby the symmetry of the Lagrangian is violated by the system described by it. 347 To illustrate the mechanism, consider a linear sigma model containing n real scalar fields described by the Lagrangian density L equals 1 2 mu phi i mu phi i plus 1 2 mu 2 phi i phi i minus lambda 4 phi i phi i Two display style math call l equals frac one two partial underscore mu phi caret i partial caret mu phi caret i plus frac one two mu caret two phi caret i phi caret i frac lambda four phi caret i phi caret i caret two, where mu and lambda are real parameters. The theory admits an oxygen mononitride gauge symmetry. Phi i r I J Phi J R element of O N display style Phi carrot I to R carrot I J Phi carrot J quad R in mathem O N the lowest energy state ground state or vacuum state of the classical theory is any uniform field Phi zero satisfying Phi zero I Phi zero I equals mu two lambda display style phi underscore zero carrot I phi underscore zero carrot I equals frac mu carrot two lambda without loss of generality let the ground state be in the nth direction phi zero I equals zero Zero mu lambda display style phi underscore zero caret i equals left zero c d o t s zero frac mu s q r t lambda right. The original n fields can be rewritten as phi i x equals pi one x pi n minus 1 x mu 
lambda plus sigma x display style phi caret i x equals left pi caret 1 x c d o t s pi caret n 1 x frac mu s q r t lambda plus sigma x right and the original Lagrangian density is L equals one two mu pi k mu pi k plus one two mu sigma mu sigma minus one two Two mu two sigma two minus lambda mu sigma three minus lambda mu pi k pi k sigma minus lambda two pi K pi k sigma two minus lambda four pi k pi k two Display style math call L equals FRAC one two partial underscore mu pi carrot K partial carrot mu pi carrot K plus FRAC one two partial underscore mu sigma partial carrot mu sigma FRAC one two two mu carrot two sigma carrot two SQRT lambda mu sigma carrot three SQRT lambda mu pi carrot K pi carrot K sigma FRAC lambda two pi carrot K pi Carrot K Sigma carrot two FRAC Lambda four Pi carrot K Pi carrot K carrot two where K equals one N one. The original oxygen mononitride gauge symmetry is no longer manifest, leaving only the subgroup O N one. The larger symmetry before spontaneous symmetry breaking is said to be hidden. Or spontaneously broken, 349 to 350 in the QFT of ferromagnetism. Spontaneous symmetry breaking can explain the alignment of magnetic dipoles at low temperatures. 199 in the standard model of elementary particles, the W and Z bosons, which would otherwise be massless as a result of gauge symmetry, acquire mass through spontaneous symmetry breaking of the Higgs boson, a process called the Higgs mechanism. 690 Goldstone's theorem states that under spontaneous symmetry breaking. Breaking, every broken continuous symmetry corresponds to a massless field called the Goldstone boson. In the above example, oxygen mononitride has n, n1, two continuous symmetries, the dimension of its Lie algebra, while O n1 has n1 and 2, 2. The number of broken symmetries is their difference, n1, which corresponds to the n1 massless fields pi k. 351 equals Topic Supersymmetry equals All experimentally known symmetries in nature relate bosons to bosons and fermions to fermions. Theorists have hypothesized the existence of a type of symmetry, called supersymmetry, that relates bosons and fermions. 795 to 443 The standard model obeys Poincare symmetry, whose generators are spacetime translation P mu and Lorentz transformation J m n. In addition to these generators, supersymmetry in 3 plus 1 dimensions includes additional generators Q alpha, called supercharges, which themselves transform as whale fermions. 795 to 444 The symmetry group generated by all these generators is known as the super Poincare group. In general, there can be more than one set of supersymmetry generators, Q alpha i, i equals 1. N, which generate the corresponding N. Topic. One supersymmetry, N Two supersymmetry, and so on, 795 to 450 supersymmetry can also be constructed in other dimensions, most notably in 1 plus 1 dimensions for its application in superstring theory. The Lagrangian of a supersymmetric theory must be invariant under the action of the super Poincare group. 
448 examples of such theories include minimal supersymmetric standard model MSSM N equals 4 supersymmetric Young Mills theory 450 and superstring theory in a supersymmetric theory, every fermion has a bosonic superpartner and vice versa. 444 If supersymmetry is promoted to a local symmetry, then the resultant gauge theory is an extension of general relativity called supergravity. Supersymmetry is a potential solution to many current problems in physics. For example, the hierarchy problem of the Standard Model why the mass of the Higgs boson is not radiatively corrected under renormalization to a very high scale such as the Grand Unified Scale or the Planck Scale can be resolved by relating the Higgs field and its superpartner, the Higgsino. Radiative corrections due to Higgs boson loops in Feynman diagrams are cancelled by corresponding Higgsino loops. Supersymmetry also offers answers to the grand unification of all gauge coupling constants in the standard model as well as the nature of dark matter, 796–797 Nevertheless, as of 2018, experiments have yet to provide evidence for the existence of supersymmetric particles. If supersymmetry were a true symmetry of nature, then it must be a broken symmetry, and the energy of symmetry breaking must be higher than those achievable by present-day experiments. 797 to 443 equals topic other space times equals the 54 theory QED QCD as well as the whole standard model all assume a 3 plus 1 dimensional Minkowski space three spatial and one time dimensions as the background on which the quantum fields are defined However, QFT a priori imposes no restriction on the number of dimensions nor the geometry of spacetime. In condensed matter physics, QFT is used to describe 2 plus 1 dimensional electron gases. In high energy physics, string theory is a type of 1 plus 1 dimensional QFT, 452 while Kaluza-Klein theory uses gravity in extra dimensions to produce gauge theories in lower dimensions, 428 to 429 in Minkowski space, the flat metric M is used to raise and lower spacetime indices in the Lagrangian, e.g. a mu a mu equals eta mu nu a mu a nu mu phi mu phi equals eta mu nu mu phi nu phi Display style a underscore mu a carrot mu equals eta underscore mu nu a carrot mu a carrot nu quad partial underscore mu phi partial carrot mu phi equals eta carrot mu nu partial underscore mu phi partial underscore nu phi, where m is the inverse of m satisfying m earn equals dmn. For QFTs in curved spacetime on the other hand, a general metric such as the Schwarzschild metric describing a black hole is used. Mu a mu equals g mu nu a mu a nu mu phi mu phi equals g mu nu mu phi nu phi Display style a underscore mu a carrot mu equals g underscore mu nu a carrot mu a carrot nu quad partial underscore mu phi partial carrot mu phi equals g carrot mu nu partial underscore mu phi partial underscore nu phi, where g m n is the inverse of g m n. For a real scalar field, the Lagrangian density in a general spacetime background is L equals g one Two G mu nu mu phi nu phi minus one two m two phi two 
Display style math call L equals SQRT G left FRAC one two G carrot new new nabla underscore mu phi nabla underscore new phi FRAC one two M carrot two phi carrot two right where G equals debt G M N and mu denotes the covariant derivative. The Lagrangian of a QFT, hence its calculational results and physical predictions, depends on the geometry of the spacetime background. Equals. Topic: Topological quantum field theory. Equals. The correlation functions and physical predictions of a QFT depend on the spacetime metric GMN. For a special class of QFTs called topological quantum field theories (TQFTs), all correlation functions are independent of continuous changes in the spacetime metric. QFTs in curved spacetime generally change according to the geometry local structure of the spacetime background, while TQFTs are invariant under spacetime diffeomorphisms but are sensitive to the topology global structure of spacetime. This means that all calculational results of TQFTs are topological invariants of the underlying spacetime. Chern-Simons theory is an example of TQFT. Applications of TQFT include the fractional quantum Hall effect and topological quantum computers. Equals. Topic: Perturbative and non-perturbative methods. Equals. Using perturbation theory, the total effect of a small interaction term can be approximated order by order by a series expansion in the number of virtual particles participating in the interaction. Every term in the expansion may be understood as one possible way for physical particles to interact with each other via virtual particles, expressed visually using a Feynman diagram. The electromagnetic force between two electrons in QED is represented to first order in perturbation theory by the propagation of a virtual photon. In a similar manner, the W and Z bosons carry the weak interaction, while gluons carry the strong interaction. The interpretation of an interaction as a sum of intermediate states involving the exchange of various virtual particles only makes sense in the framework of perturbation theory. In contrast, non-perturbative methods in QFT treat the interacting Lagrangian as a whole without any series expansion. Instead of particles that carry interactions, these methods have spawned such concepts as t hooft polyakov monopole, domain wall, flux tube, and instanton. Mathematical <laughs> <laughs> rigor <laughs> 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 In spite of its overwhelming success in particle physics and condensed matter physics, QFT itself lacks a formal mathematical foundation. For example, according to Hugg's theorem, there does not exist a well-defined interaction picture for QFT, which implies that perturbation theory of QFT, which underlies the entire Feynman diagram method, is fundamentally not rigorous. Since the 1950s, theoretical physicists and mathematicians have attempted to organize all QFTs into a set of axioms, in order to establish the existence of concrete models of relativistic QFT in a mathematically rigorous way and to study their properties. This line of study is called constructive quantum field theory, a subfield of mathematical physics, which has led to such results as CPT theorem, spin statistics theorem, and Goldstone's theorem. Compared to ordinary QFT, topological quantum field theory and conformal field theory are better supported mathematically. Both can be classified in the framework of representations of cobordisms. Algebraic quantum field theory is another approach to the axiomatization of QFT, in which the fundamental objects are local operators and the algebraic relations between them. Axiomatic systems following this approach include Whiteman axioms and Hogg Castler axioms. 2 to 3 One way to construct theories satisfying Whiteman axioms is to use Osterwalder Schrader axioms, which give the necessary and sufficient conditions for a real time theory to be obtained from an imaginary time theory by analytic continuation. Wick rotation. 10 Yang Mills existence and mass gap. One of the Millennium Prize problems concerns the well defined existence of Yang Mills theories as set out by the above axioms. The full problem statement is as follows. See also